Hello, my name is Darkwing Doll, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the magic of makeup. <laughs> How therapeutic it can be. Um, a lot of people just shine makeup and see it as something to wear to impress that guy across the way or whatever attractive mate. And as I've said many times before, that I don't wear makeup to impress people. I wear it for color therapy and because I'm an artist. And that's something people just cannot understand and wrap their mind around. And also, um, I've done research, not a lot, but research about makeup and why people wore it anyway. Um, a lot of times the Egyptians wore the eye makeup as far as a form of protection, like for the evil eye. They blacken their eyes, the eyeliner in their eyes, and the eyebrows as well. <clears throat> And um, I've gone through talking about things like that in my past videos where I did on this channel and on my Healing with Color channel. So if you want to check out my Healing with Color channel, please feel free to do so. That's here on YouTube as well, where I talk about how colors are healing for people. Some colors um, are more appropriate to wear than others. And um, I just decided to explore this kind of topic further in another channel, but I do um, cover it here on this channel when it comes to makeup because people still have this disdain towards makeup. They just think if you're wearing makeup then you're fake and you're phony and you're not fake and you're phony. A lot of people like I said are wearing makeup for color therapy and not for um, getting you know praise and and saying look, look at how great you look today or you look just like so and so. So that's just not with me and most of these makeup videos I do end up being rants, so <laughs> i tell you the truth because I'm tired of people telling me that, um, that I look a hundred times better without makeup. That's, if you think that's a compliment, it's not. I'm using some coconut oil to put on my face because I cleansed it. Um, I don't like to use uh, soaps on my face. I prefer to use just water. Um, but if I do use any kind of cleansers, I have some that I've gotten from this thing called the Ipsy bag. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. I just needed to put a little bit of that on my face. My face is dry. So, um, this is the Ipsy bag, and it comes in this really flashy <laughs> colored bag. Um, they were varying the colors of the bags, but lately it's been just this magenta color. And um, inside the bag, you know, you'll see. Every month I get one of these bags and it's a compilation of different types of cosmetics that I can try for my for my skin and see if it works for me. Uh, somebody uh, recently in the comment section mentioned that I try a different brand that's uh, or a different company that uh, does the same sort of thing but is catered towards African American skin. So, because sometimes Epsi, Epsi, <laughs> Ipsy will bring, will send me uh, colors that I cannot won't look right on me as far as lipsticks. Like I got this really pale pink lipstick and some black women like to wear um, pale pink lipstick, but I don't think it looks good on me. So what I've done with those lipsticks and those paler colors is I've mixed it into like say eyeshadow and sometimes some of them can be used as blush, but um, some of them maybe I'd use for artwork. <laughs> so this is what the bag looks like. It's a really nice, canvas like bag um, and let's see what's inside a lot of times they'll give you a card telling you what selfie with no filter confidence <laughs> people are obsessed with the whole no filter thing I don't think there's wrong with using a filter if you're having fucking fun with you know exploring with different looks or whatever so saying your glam bag has five personalized picks and tons of skincare tips on ipsy.com. I'm here to help you look and feel and radiant all month long. So food for thought, did you know that turmeric, the orange spice used for cooking, has serious skincare powers? Yeah, I know about turmeric. My son used a, a turmeric um, soap for his toe to heal the ingrown toenail and it worked really well. Um, he had to do it every single day, keep on it, and it worked really well. Turmeric is awesome. Turmeric is good for so many things. Um, turmeric is good for um, for your joints, for arthritis. Um, that's why I have a lot of curry dishes and to dishes with curry 
and cumin, not cumin, turmeric in it because it's really overall an awesome, awesome herb or root. Um, so yeah, I know all about turmeric. So it's saying that it's an antioxidant, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties help fight acne, protect from sun damage. <coughs> Excuse me. And and brighten. I guess brightens your face. <laughs> So yeah, well that's cool that they put that in there. It's probably because they're gonna have some some things in here that are uh, related to turmeric, maybe. So let's see what we got here. Oh, good, an eyeliner. I hope it's the right color. I just like black. It's a brown one. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. And what is this? Honey, youth boosting honey, and copper peel off mask. Okay, cool. So we'll do this uh, soon, a peel-off mask. I got so many of these masks from this company, it's awesome. And this is False Eyelashes Extreme. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing false eyelashes anytime soon. I'm not into doing that. Unless, what is this? Oh, it's just a mascara. It's the name of the product, False Eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm not judging anybody who wears false eyelashes, but I'm not into do it going that far. <laughs> so here's an exfoliant that I received from there. So maybe I'll do a show soon where I'm trying this exfoliant <clears throat> and then doing the mask. Maybe I'll do a night, a night video right before bed or something. And this one is a lipstick. It says Lip Sticks Crayon Rouge. So none of these have I ever tried. I'm gonna try the lipstick first. Let's crack into that. Let's see what that's, and it says plum. I know this color is gonna be way too light. Watch this, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this mirror. This does not look like plum on me. You know what it looks like? It looks kinda like orange. This color is not flattering. It doesn't do anything. It's smooth. The texture of it's smooth and, and it makes my lips feel good. But this is a boring ass fucking color. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like that. So anyway. <laughs> and then there's this brown one, brown pencil. You know what I do with things like this that I don't use? I end up using it for, um, for artwork. <laughs> Because uh, lipsticks are the same texture as all pastel, pretty much. So, so this is, and this is supposed to be brown. Look at this color. Let's put it on my skin. You can't even fucking see it, barely. See that? You can barely see it. See that? What's the point? For me, that's what I feel like. I like black. So, this will be put into. Maybe this can be used for blush, let me see. Because sometimes I'll do like this, put a little bit on my cheeks, and then just use it as blush. So, it's, yeah, it works as blush, so I'll say this is blush. And it could also be used for um, eyeshadow, too. Uh, let me look and get closer into the light so you can see it. Actually, there's one more thing in here. Oh, no, that was the one thing I showed you already. Murad. Age Reform Exfoliating Cleanser. So that's that. If you guys have tried any of these products, please let me know and, and let me know how you like them. I'm going to try on this mascara. Um, put that on. Whoops. And see how that is. Yeah, for a while I didn't wear makeup for years um, before I had my son, which was back in 2000, and then I had my son in 2000. Before then, I didn't even wear makeup. It wasn't because I didn't like makeup, it was just because I just didn't desire to wear it. And then uh, I start wearing it a lot, and then people start freaking out. Freaking the fuck out. 
and then trying to give me advice on how to wear my makeup and all this other bullshit and it's like I never asked you I never told you how to wear your makeup so why are you telling me how to wear mine you know fuck you so anyway <laughs> yep I told you there's a little bit of rant mixed in with this so I'm gonna do the right by my eye lid right there with some eyeliner I'm just using this old wet and wild eyeliner black eyeliner and that's what I like black for my eyeliner and then I go underneath here. I'm not a makeup artist and I never said I was. So people will look at me and go, hey, I really don't like you with makeup on. You look better without it on. What's wrong with you? And I say, what's wrong with you for saying weird things to people? People just say shit without even thinking about it these days. There's like no common courtesy too much these days, really. It's just like, hey, you know, and then say what you want to say. Even more so on the internet, because, you know, people are hiding behind a uh, computer screen or whatever. Looking good. <laughs> so I'm going to do my eyebrows. Who knows how they turn out from one day to the next. They're different each time. I'm not trying to get things exactly perfect but somewhat symmetry somewhat amount of symmetry would be nice but I don't have to be perfect so. that's why I knew I could never be like a makeup artist for like makeup artist to the stars or some weird shit like that because I wouldn't want to do this for somebody else every day I wouldn't, as a living, no. It would be really hard, challenging to do that. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. You know what I could do with that lipstick? Um, also, I can use it for eyeshadow if I, see, because I have red on. If I want to go, um, somebody was at the door. <laughs> If I want to get to where I'm matching with everything, then I can do that. Let me just raise this up. There we go. There, that's better. So what I'm going to basically do is just go like this. And put it where my eyebrows are. Gives it a dramatic look. See, I like to have fun with makeup. I like to experiment with makeup. So now I'm smoothing it in with my finger and you gotta remember or know that when I was in high school it was the late 80s and I graduated in the early 90s so think of what the styles were back then as far as makeup goes the style was being original and experimental that's what the style was and People have fun with their makeup. And people weren't trying to look like everyone else. They were just expressing themselves. And that was the 80s. I don't know if I like this lip color. What do you guys think? I think it's not that. It's okay, I guess. It's not really what I want. But I got this really cool lip color from my friend, um, Wendy. She sent in the mail. Hold on, let me wipe some off. I got a little bit of eyeliner in the lipstick case. Uh, wear makeup can get messy. <laughs> so, yeah. It's right here. It's a nice color. It's a purple. And my friend Wendy said she sent it to me because she realized it was the wrong color for her. So, she didn't want to wear it. So, I'm like, let me check. I'll check it out. So she's like, gave it to me. I'll be right back. See, you know, my hands. She, uh, I got eyeliner all over my hands. <laughs> but yeah, she gave it to me, sent it to me in the mail, and that was really kind of her. She's got a lot of health problems and shit she's going through, and she just found the time to send me this package. Um, yeah, it, I just think I want to put on the, uh, Use some this coconut oil to remove it. I just want to put on the. Uh... All right, I'm gonna have to end this soon.
because my phone needs to be charged. So I'm taking off, I remove my makeup with coconut oil when I have it. When I don't have it, I just use um, olive oil. When I don't have olive oil, then I'm up shit creek. No, <laughs> when I don't have olive oil, then I just use um, lotion. So there's always something. The push comes to shove, if you get really desperate, use canola oil. <laughs> It's a cheaper, cheaper, um, cheaper than buying some sort of olive oil a type of thing, which I got for free in one of these packages. So I'm going to show you what this lipstick looks like, and then we'll end this video. I've been really liking this color on my lips. I've created this color using uh, other lipsticks and uh, an eyeshadow. This purple color. Now I just have it. And one lipstick already ready to go. So let me show you what it looked like. So here we go. I think it looks good. I'm gonna take my hair down and we'll end this. I just got out of the shower. Just showered now. My hair, my wild woman hair. All my antenna are fresh and clean. So I don't know which um, product here has turmeric in it, but I'll look and see. And we'll come back um, soon with a um, with another video doing the uh, the scrub and also the mask. So yeah, that'll be soon. But thank you for joining me today for um, magic of makeup. <laughs> Wearing makeup at any age, not giving a shit what people think about you all the time. Because people are going to try to put their kind of, you know, viewpoints and their perspectives on how you should look in this world. Fuck it. If you're not hurting anybody else or yourself, look the way you want to look. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know what makeup you're using. And I might even check out that one. Um, that one makeup, uh, kind of, it's kind of like Ipsy, but it's catered towards African American, uh, women. So we're going to check that one out and see what that's about soon see if that's feasible to do. Maybe I'll switch it up and stop doing the Ipsy and then try that one for a while. So, yeah, because it's, it's this color, some of the colors, they're not, they're not really what I want. So I'll check that out soon. So, yeah. And also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can donate a dollar more to my PayPal at kdaddytmama at comcast.net and include a question you'd like to see answered on an upcoming show. It's not required to donate to watch these channels on the show. It's just people have asked how they can support all three of the channels I have here on YouTube. And that's one way you can do that. And so with that said, brightest blessings to you all. And always feel free to express yourself the way you want to express yourself and not wear makeup just because people think, you know, you need to wear it. A lot of women wear makeup because they want to and they love color. So thank you for joining me, guys. Brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.